So we want to optimize our website for great search engine ranking, but um, how do we do that? One of the, uh, the best ways is to find out what people are actually searching for. Now, if somebody goes to Google and they are searching for a particular thing, whether it be uh, a, a local plumber, whether it be a uh, contractor or uh, you know, a, a travel agency, um, they're going to type keywords into Google. So let's uh, travel agency. And uh, they will hit return or click search, and that will return uh, uh, search engine results. Now you'll see uh, several results here that are organically ranked. Now remember, uh, these three items are paid. Uh, the items over here are paid. Those are all sponsored links. Um, so people are paying every time we click these links um, in the uh, in the hopes that we will spend money with them. Uh, the results down here, these search engine results, are free. They're organic and they're based on Google crawling the content of websites. Uh, so the better we position the content of our website to match what people are looking for, the, the keywords they're typing um, here, uh, then... Uh, the, the more relevant we're going to be here, the higher in this list we're going to be. Now, we can, if, uh, if somebody is typing keywords in here into Google and then searching, it would make sense that Google is tracking what people are searching for, right? So, in other words, they will see how many people searched for travel agency. They will search how many people search... Atlanta Travel Agency or Travel Agency Atlanta, for instance. So, And those will all track differently and have different search results, outcomes. Um, so Google makes that data available to us as marketers or as web developers. And so uh, one of the easiest um, and free tools you can use is AdWords. Uh, from Google. So we're going to open a new tab and actually go to adwords.google.com and we'll see here we can sign in if we wanted to but uh, we don't even need to do that at this point. Um, let's get uh, click this get keyword ideas here and this is the free tool from AdWords to show what people are using to find the websites that they are going to. Um, real quick you will see that uh, Google is asking us to confirm that we are human uh, through this CAPTCHA form. And it looks like I got that correct. Um, so let's start by uh, determining our project here. And let's say we're going to uh, find keywords for this particular site, Bala and Style. And this is a website that we are, have just launched uh, today for a client and now we're going to go through the process of finding uh, the keywords that would be most uh, appropriate and most beneficial for this particular client. Uh, so let's find a competitor for these people as well and we'll do that and we happen to know that a competitor is uh, this group here and we're going to first do a little uh, homework investigation of their keywords. So I'm going to view page source. And we can see here uh, the keywords for this particular site is Shore Excursions on Mafia Coast, Positano Excursion, Sorrento Transfers, Naples Tour. Uh, description. We get a little bit more keywords. So they um, are probably not doing a whole lot in terms of search engine marketing just because they, uh, uh, they, they've they not populated these very much. Um, but let's take something that um, somebody might search for if they're searching for a tour guide in, Atlanta, or in uh, Italy. Uh, so we're going to open, let's say, Tour of Italy. And okay, we see this vacation packages. So let's. Uh, this is something that somebody has typed in before. We have no idea uh, how many 
people, but uh, we can find that out. Uh, so let's hit enter, and here we can see uh, it looks like we've got the right type of uh, search results because these people are selling uh, tours within Italy. So that looks pretty good. Let's look at their page source. And okay, they're hiding their. Whoops. Let's go back to the site. Let's look at their page source. And so here we go Italy, travel, Italy tours, vacation discount traffic packages to Rome. Um, so we get a good idea of what people are uh, targeting. This doesn't mean that people are actually typing this in, but it means this website is targeting these keywords. Um, so let's go back to AdWords and let's say Tour Italy Vacation Package, which is what we typed in um, in Google, and uh, you can use uh, different keywords, it's, and I recommend you do, in fact. Um, but uh, we can look and see what this says. Uh, locations and languages, do we care where these are coming from? Um, let's use all countries. And these are uh, these options are up to you. It depends on where your actual uh, website is located. Um, but filter keywords, we're not going to do that. Let's just click search. Now these columns uh, represent different types of data. And uh, this first column here is our keyword phrases that people are actually typing in to Google uh, to find whatever they're looking for. So people are typing in uh, Italy vacation package, Italy tour package, Italy tour packages. So these are all unique phrases, and Google tracks them all for us uh, so that we can target our website to the phrase that's most likely going to uh, result in our target market, our target uh, client. Um, this next column is competition, and uh, we can see here the full green bar means high competition, meaning a lot of websites are targeting this particular web, uh, this particular keyword phrase. And uh, local monthly searches; these are uh, the number of people per month searching this exact phrase, uh, and it's an approximate number, but still you can see um, that that's a large. A uh, large number, 110,000 people searching for Tour Italy. You can also see local search trends for the previous 12 months. And uh, so we can see, you know, maybe uh, this is high maybe nine months ago. So um, at this point in time when we're recording this video, nine months ago would be uh, uh, late, uh, eh, late summer, early fall. So maybe people are uh, researching where they would want to vacation in the fall. Um, you know, and the same here, we've kind of got a dip in over the winter because really who wants to travel to Italy in the winter? Um, just kidding. Uh, but uh, you can see uh, the trends of uh, what people are searching for. So that can help in the way we market our websites. Um, now, there's one other column that's not visible here, and we can actually... Uh, determine which columns you want to see by clicking views and customize columns and one of the things we like to see is global monthly searches so I'm going to add that and then grab that and sort by this number I'm going to click save now and now we can see global monthly searches uh, and also the local monthly searches so a lot of these are a lot of these monthly searches are local, but a lot of them are also not. They're, uh, they're international. Um, so let's start by finding uh, the low-hanging fruit, if you will. So um, we're going to sort by competition, and uh, this is going to pull... Well, these are the, the high competition phrases. We're going to click competition one more time, and then we'll see lower... Uh, competition sites and the reason for doing this is that if I can target my pages in with keyword phrases that are less competitive or less competed for then there's a better chance that I can get easy target uh, targeted traffic 
on my website through Google searches. Um, now we want to use a combination of competition and global monthly searches because just because nobody's targeting a particular phrase um, or a lot fewer people are targeting a particular phrase doesn't mean that it's going to be beneficial. In other words, Italy vacation tour packages is better competition or lower competition than say luxury Italy tours. But you'll see here that only 390 people are searching for that phrase, Italy vacation tour packages, every month. When this tour day has uh, just about the same competition, but we have 301,000 people searching every month, tour day. Um, now, looking at this bar here and then this stat, we can see, okay, this is a keyword phrase that may result in a good amount of traffic. Then we would analyze the actual keyword phrase and see, is this something that would produce a targeted client or a potential client on our website? Um, tour day, if we are targeting Tour Italy vacation package, may not be as relevant. So maybe we skip that um, in uh, in favor of some other things um, such as tour operators Italy we have 1900 people searching for that every month uh, tourist attractions Italy we have 12,100 people searching for that every month and still lower competition than some of these sites down here so let's um, add some of these phrases um, to our search uh, criteria here and we will do that I'm just going to open I'm going to open a text uh, pad so I can keep track of these and so our first one that might be profitable is this tour operators Italy for instance. So I'm going to copy that and paste it into my text pad. And I saw that made that a link. I'm going to make that plain text. Um, okay, just so I don't get linked. Tourist attractions, Italy. Let's say somebody's searching for tourist attractions in Italy and they find this particular site that we're marketing and uh, they see that this company uh, offers tours of these tourist attractions. So that may be a good uh, keyword phrase. And notice I'm going to enter these into my keyword uh, document here, um, comma separated, so that they will be easily entered into our blog software. Um, so Italy touring. 8,000 so that may be good people are obviously searching for uh, you know about touring Italy uh, Italy adventure tours that may be a great client for us but there's only 320 people searching every month uh, so that's not really something that may be uh, good for us for this client uh, so there's there are some judgment calls that uh, we'll need to make but for the most part, it's pretty simple. Uh, we have 27,100 people searching for this. And we have 74,000 people searching for tour sightseeing. Uh, Italy visit, 40,000. And so because this is less competitive than, say, southern Italy tours, um, that's a definite, while this may be a maybe. Now here we have something that's the same, high competition, high competition, but this phrase, Italy tour package, has four times almost the uh, the amount of traffic that Italy tour packages has. So this is going to be the better choice for us. Uh, so I'm going to put that in our document, and then we can uh, save that or uh, copy you know that into and put it into our blog. So that's the great a uh, great way to uh, find you know which keyword.